Penn State had their spring game yesterday. We were up there last week. You saw what we saw, only we saw it behind closed doors. You saw it publicly, and that was defense dominating and offense struggling. Manny Diaz had a very good day. Defensive coordinator up there. First team defense pitched a shutout. Uh, they had rain early. It cleared out, so they were good to go for the game. Second team defense had Drew Aller and that first team offense under pressure. That is, that is not the best headline that you could take away from this, or it's not, it's not the most preferred headline, I guess we should say. But it's, I'm, I'll tell you this now because it's, it's borne itself out publicly. We were at practice last week. After they swept the media out of there, James Franklin let us hang around. That's exactly what we saw. We saw 2D against 1-0, and we saw 2D give 1-0 some trouble. And that was with Olu Fashando on the field. They didn't have the starting left tackle there uh, for the spring game yesterday. So what do you make of that? Well, I will obviously say, as I do with every spring game, they didn't really show their full offense. But what I think this team's ultimately going to be this year is an extremely strong run game, an extremely salty and versatile defense that can really get after the quarterback as well as stop the run. And therefore, we have a formula that is going to give a, a highly talented green quarterback time to develop. Translation, they're not going to need to score 42 to win and look at their quarterback as the means to get it done. That's probably not the identity of this team this year. Uh, the other question that I had when I was up there last week, and it was always met with a, we'll see, was wide receiver. How's wide receiver going to shake out? Is wide receiver a finished product? And the short answer is no, because they've got the kid from Kent State, Cephas, still coming in. He'll be there in the summer. But Omari Evans, three-star sophomore, he had five catches for 80 yards and a touchdown. Keandre Lambert-Smith, uh, Wallace, those, those are probably the one, too. Harrison Wallace, I should use more than just his last name. Harrison Wallace the third actually. Behind those guys, who's stepping up? Cephas is, is probably going to heavily factor into that rotation. Uh, maybe it's Omari Evans. Maybe they even go get another name out of the portal. I heard James Franklin afterwards yesterday saying, defensive tackle, wide receiver, and any other impact player that, that maybe we don't even see coming. But those are the two positions that we want to go after. It's, it's interesting. You know, we, we got to see um, some things that the public doesn't get to see last week. And it was just like watching the spring game, just with more people and, and worse weather. So it, it wasn't exactly a shock to the senses for me as much as it was some of my Penn State friends. I think they're going to be okay. And I think that probably the, the Drew Aller trajectory – as the season goes on come fall, will be just that. It'll be kind of like the, you know, the little yodeler climbing the mountain. It's a blessing to have the ability to play complementary football and not have to rely on your quarterback to do everything. Now, having said that, we got to be better on the offensive line than we showed yesterday. And by we, I am just speaking for Jesse right now. We have to be better. The uh, Penn State schedule, by the way, they open against West Virginia, then they got Delaware, then they open conference play at Illinois, then Iowa, then Northwestern, then a bye week. Obviously, they'll be favored in every one of those games. There is not a huge roadblock there, but there are dangerous games if you don't have your affairs in order.